day. Uh, my name is Patty Ree. I'm in the 17th Circus of Broward County. My son, Landon Reed, has had a guardianship, uh, fraudulent guardianship for 21 years now. And my, I've seen how they do the accounting, and I don't think that when I look at them, I've had firsthand uh, knowledge of the accountings. They don't even add up to the accounting principles. Would you have um, in the circus? You have a guardianship. A pro a guardianship matter can go probate, but never a probate matter goes guardianship. And I've witnessed even instant. On court orders, I witnessed judges saying that I gave testimony when I, when Landon and I was out of the state, and it's just uh, it's a lack of public trust in the guardianship. I agree with the young lady who gave the analysis. Yeah, they're handling millions of dollars of assets, and and their bond is just too low. Um, the main thing I'm concerned about is that, um, the laws, the laws, as far as I can see, they are, it, it's a conflict with the constitution. And I think that we need to revisit all the laws and see what we can do because they don't meet the changing needs of our society. And it, it's been that way a long time. I remember I went to Chris. I said, you're going to have a huge landfall in guardianship. It's a, it is nothing but a racket. And the one thing I'm very concerned about, and I wish this committee would consider it, would be you cannot have a not-for-profit corporation acting as a guardian because they're governed by internal revenue codes. And then another thing I'm upset about is that most of the, our assets are protected by a state statute. And if you have an annuity, you can't legal process them, and the courts are doing that. So I'm looking at this. There's no checks and balance, and it's just a circus. And to try to maneuver, to try seconds. to find out who the actors are, it's just impossible. But I feel that the laws on legislation, it, um, it abridges the Miranda versus Arizona, that's the U.S. Supreme Court ruling in 426. Thank you. Ten seconds. 